Can you hear me? I, I don't have any. Hello, I think uh, you can start. Am I on online? Yes, if you can hear me. Yes, yes, uh, we can hear you. Please go ahead. Please, please go to the next slide. Um, okay, my name is Dmitry Dmitriev. I'm working with uh, Species File Group. It's a bioinformatic group at the University of Illinois, uh, United States. Uh, we have a group of uh, uh, biologists and um, bioinformaticians working in the group, uh, mostly in the uh, United States, but uh, also collaborators in Argentina. Um, uh, I also would like to thank to my collaborators, William and Connell, for providing data uh, on Afrotropical bees. Uh, please go to the next slide. Uh, so I will be talking about the migration of data from the initial database to Taxon Works. Uh, and we already heard this name during the presentation. And uh, Taxon Works is an integrated web-based workbench for uh, taxonomists and uh, biodiversity scientists, uh, which allow people to organize and reach their data and uh, uh, share the data with collaborators and uh, package data for further analysis and publication. Next slide, please. Uh, this slide, I wouldn't speak much about this. I just uh, uh, show the richness of the data in Taxon Works. Uh, each uh, square represents the individual table in the database. I will just uh, speak about a few numbers. Uh, at the moment of uh, preparation of presentation, number of uh, projects and tax and works reached uh, 69. Um, uh, over 1 million uh, tax and names, uh, um, over 1 million uh, and a half uh, uh, collection object or specimen records, and uh, about uh, 200,000 publication records. Next slide, please. Um, we try to classify the, the projects uh, which are available in Tax and Works. Uh, as I mentioned, we have 69 projects. And uh, Tax and Works uh, have a modular structure, so you don't have to use all the functionality. Uh, and we try to see what people doing in their project. So we uh, designated five categories of the data, nomenclatural data, uh, literature, uh, tracking, digitization, mostly um, for the collection management, uh, uh, geospatial distribution data, um, georeferences, uh, descriptive data. We have uh, matrices in the in the in tax and works, uh, which could be used for interactive keys, um, illustration, etc. So you you can see that uh, different projects uh, might have a little bit different focus. Some of them more nomenclature focused. Uh, some of them doing just matrices, interactive keys. Uh, some that uh, some some of them has a lot of citation and uh, bibliographical information. Go to the next slide, please. And I will be talking about Afrotropical bees. Um, uh, actually, this picture is not uh, representative to the project. Uh, I just wanted to put uh, uh, an insect uh, uh, to the presentation uh, because projects specifically say that um, targeting uh, native bees, uh, African bees, and except for uh, uh, honeybee. Uh, there is no much of the distribution information and biological association about the species. Next slide, please. Uh, so initial database uh, come in Microsoft Access uh, format. Uh, the database was also migrated to a specified database. 
Uh, it's a relational database with uh, multiple tables, uh, taxonomical table, uh, reference table, author table, distribution table, and several tables for biological associations. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, uh, we are in the final stages of the migration of the data to taxon works. Uh, this is a data representation statistics on the uh, data after the migration. I would say it's a medium size uh, projects for taxon works. Uh, after migration, uh, 58,000 uh, taxon names. Uh, about half of those, I would estimate, are bees. Uh, the rest is uh, related. Uh, related uh, taxa, it could be plant names, it could be parasitoids. Uh, we have a hierarchical structure where all organisms ended up on the same tree. Um, next slide, please. Yeah, just highlight the same information. We have uh, about 8,000 sources uh, and uh, a lot of biological associations. Just some statistics. Uh, uh, after the migration, uh, almost 3,000 valid species name and uh, 263 genera. Next slide. Uh, representation of nomenclature uh, that's an interface from Taxon Works. Uh, I just pick a random species with some synonymy records. Uh, you can see valid name on the top. Uh, history of the name uh, with synonyms and bibliographical information. Next slide, please. Uh, distribution record, uh, initial data coming is uh, country codes, and uh, those was um, uh, uh, migrated to taxon works and uh, represented as uh, shape uh, shape files on the on the map. Next slide. Um, the database uh, has uh, two kinds of biological relationship uh, host plant, uh, nesting sites, uh, parasitoid visits, uh, and uh, this is a data representation and taxon works. We represent the data as uh, pairs between uh, two different uh, taxa or OTUs in the database. Next slide. Uh, the same for different kinds of relationship. Uh, this is for parasitoids. Uh, next slide. Um, it's definitely not bees. Uh, it could be a next step uh, for the development of the project. Uh, we have uh, taxon pages. Um, taxon works as a private workbench uh, for the data curation, but we also have uh, public interfaces. Uh, designed uh, using uh, taxon pages, separate product of uh, our group. And this is an example from the um, World Token Arena database I'm personally involved in. So we can uh, expect in the future the same kind of uh, data representation for the bees, which uh, the, the taxonomical page which has illustrations, uh, distribution maps, uh, nomenclature, synonymy, bibliographical references, uh, etc. Next slide, please. Uh, why taxon works? Uh, we already heard the name. Uh, I would just I wouldn't say about all advantages of the platform, but uh, I would say one of the big thing about taxon works we uh, um, trying to envision future of the data not just about providing efficient interfaces uh, for data curation, but basically speaking about data availability, what happens with the data once the data already in the projects. So we provide many different ways uh, for accessing data in Daxon Works. You can always get a full project dump. Uh, you can get individual tables in uh, CSV format. Uh, most of the objects in the database has API points uh, access. Uh, nomenclature could be um, migrated uh, in CallDB format and share it with Catalog of Life or GBIF. Uh, nomenclature could also be um, downloaded in the paper style catalog, which will have uh, nomenclature, synonymy, uh, distribution, bibliography. Uh, bibliography could be generated, uh, downloaded in BibTeX format or could be um, uh, formatted in the journal specific style. Uh, specimen records could be downloaded in uh, Darwin Core archive format and share it with JB, ITBio. 
uh, matrices. Uh, this particular project doesn't have uh, matrices, but uh, we do a lot of the metric stuff. Matrices could be used for generating interactive keys, and matrices could be also downloaded in Nexus, NexML, TNT, uh, or CSV format and used for phylogenetic analysis, for example. Uh, next slide, please. Next one. There's some technical problem. Oh, no problem. It was actually the last one. Uh, the last slide was just... Uh... <laughs> The last one was just conclusion, uh, several uh, hyperlinks uh, to the additional resources. Yes, thank you. Uh, so information uh, to find us uh, about us, Taxonworks is open source uh, platform. So we are re represented on uh, GitHub. Uh, we have uh, Gitter communication channels, uh, documentation uh, website. Um, we have multiple events organized by our group. Uh, the big one coming in two weeks, uh, Tax and Works Together mini conference. Uh, anybody interested to know more about Tax and Works, uh, welcome to register and participate. It's free. Um, and we're also available on Twitter and Mastodon. And I would like to thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, any questions? No. Looks like everyone is very tired now. It's already past 6 a.m. Well, so. For me, it's even worse. It's midnight. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing it at, at this hour of the day. Yeah, no problem. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. See you. For all the speakers.